using a prominent woman of the past to develop the next generation of leaders. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Christy Cunningham. She is a board member for the Alice Paul Institute. Thanks for being with us. Hi, Jill. Let's talk a little bit about Alice Paul because you're basing the model for this new initiative around her life's work. Talk to us a little bit about her and why she serves as a role model. Sure. Alice um, really was a woman who dedicated her life to the single cause of securing women's equality. And she did that through a number of different means. One, most prominently, she's known, well known for being one of the leading women suffragists. She developed the National Women's Party that was very influential in getting the 19th Amendment passed, the women's right to vote. And after that great success, she dedicated the rest of her life to, to authoring and, and promoting the Equal Rights Amendment. So really a prominent woman whose life work can serve as an example of perseverance and dedication. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about this new initiative. It's called Alice Paul CEO. It's a leadership development program. And the Alice Paul Institute has been well known for a number of years for leadership development programs. But they've all been centered around girls and around teenagers. Mm -hmm. So why have a program now centered around women and around professionals? Yeah, all of our programs in the past have been foc focused on girls' leadership. That's where we wanted to begin. But in recent years, we've had a lot of demand for women's leadership development. And so now we're, this is our first foray into to that area. Now let's talk about how this program actually works because it's a very comprehensive program, mm -hmm. but give us an indication as to what the program actually includes. Um, well, there, it's a whole series of workshops. They're, they're started beginning this fall and running through the spring. And they cover a variety of different topics, including becoming a powerful public speaker, um, financial literacy, um, goal setting, and writing and editing for f folks who want to develop those skills further. And there's also a networking opportunity in December that's included in this. And with the series, folks can sign up for one of the programs or sign up for the entire series. And where is this actually being held? It's being held at Paulsdale, which is the home where Alice was born and raised, and it's in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. So an opportunity to really see her birthplace and mm -hmm. learn more about her life and her legacy as well. That's correct, yeah. Now, when we talk about this program, uh, it's an opportunity to network. It's mm -hmm. an opportunity to learn and to grow, but we'll also have the chance to hear from professionals in at the top of their game, mm -hmm. at the top of their fields, uh, and, and learn from their experiences mm -hmm. as well. Yes, and actually that's one of the biggest differences between our girls' leadership program and this program. The girls' leadership program, all of the curriculum was developed by the Alice Paul Institute. Um, with this series, we are bringing in professionals on these different topics to develop the curriculum for each of the different topics in the series. So for public speaking, we'll hear from a professional mm -hmm. there. For financial literacy, we'll hear from a professional in that category. Yes. So really a chance to learn and to grow and take some of these ideas back to our mm -hmm. own careers. That's correct, yes. Incorporate them into our own lives. Who would you encourage to sign up for this series? I would really encourage any woman to sign up. I think these this series is appropriate for a professional woman who's looking to take her skills to the next level and really raise the game, raise the bar. Um, I also think it would be appropriate for a woman who's never had any experience in one of these topics and would really like an, an introduction or a start to um, developing skills in the, the, whatever the topic area is. In addition to these workshops that you'll be having at Paulsdale, there will be a uh, C Alice Paul CEO presentation. Mm -hmm. That's a road show, if you yes. will. You can take this presentation to businesses. How will this work? Yes, we also sometimes get demand for that as well. This would be appropriate for community groups, for businesses, perhaps during um, Women's History Month. To, um, and what this, pro this series is, is they, we look at the life of Alice and how she led and the characteristics of her as a leader, and we translate that into what can we learn from that today? What characteristics and skills should, could we be focused on to take our own careers and um, causes to the next level? And if businesses or other community organizations are interested in that, uh, someone can actually come and give a presentation yep. to them? Yep. We're marketing this. It could be a lunch and learn program, perhaps. Um, for a women's group at a business or an organization, something like that. Thanks so much for being with us. Glad We've been talking with Christy Cunningham, board member for the Alice Paul Institute. I'm Jill Horner.